Too mad has passed away. Hi everyone, Wang Clear. Today we're gonna talk about Too mad. First and foremost, my condolences to his family. I know what it's like to lose a family member. It hurts. With that out of the way, a couple of years ago, I was a fan of Too mad. I, I liked his content, like back then when he was blowing up. But after all these recent allegations of him doing horrible, horrible stuff, I just stopped supporting him. I didn't, I didn't want to see him anymore. And now he is gone. It doesn't mean that someone is gone that that person is a saint you know he, he was an asshole but he's unalive right now so uh me's probably we're, we're gonna act like he was a saint we're not gonna do that we are going to review his history on what he has done to certain people right before he passed away this is also a first look for me on what he has done so it's gonna be a first experience for you and me right now so i saw this news on a certain website tmz they're not really the most reliable source on the internet let's see what they have to say youtuber too mad unalive at 23 investigated as possible overdose with a picture of him looking an eerie fact about one of the last things too mad appears to have been doing before he passed according to his discord page he was playing Overwatch and seems to not have changed his active status for nearly a week. That is pretty suspicious for him because he's terminally online. Especially on Twitter, he posts like 100 tweets a day. It's even crazier to pass away while playing Overwatch. Too Mad was an avid gamer and on the platform you can let people know what you're up to and what you're actively playing. In the wake of his unalivement, people quickly noticed he's still showing up as playing the game. Even now it pops up as him still playing. Law enforcement sources tell us that the internet personality, too mad, was found unresponsive Tuesday night at his Los Angeles area home. This after somebody called in to ask for a welfare check. So probably someone of his family or one of his friends called him up and seen that he didn't respond at all. Which is quite weird for too mad. He seems to be 24-7 behind his phone or behind his computer screen. So uh, yeah, I, I could see why they were worried about him not answering directly. So they have involved law enforcement to see what's up with too mad, of course. And law enforcement has found him unresponsive in his home in LA. And the police think that he has passed away because of an overdose of some substances I can't talk about on YouTube. And that's the entire story for so far. But right before he actually passed away, we gotta look something on Twitter. We're gonna look at him with the Jameski situation. Jameski is another YouTuber. Jameski was his roommate at the time, I think. And uh, basically, Too Mad had some allegations going around him, perhaps like 10 months ago. He did some questionable stuff to a girl. The girl was trying to defend herself, but she had no money. She had no resources of like actually getting lawyers and suing Too Mad for the things he has allegedly done. So James Key came into play and uh, he tried helping the girl. He funded the entire case for her. So justice could be served. And this is what he has to say. I can finally say it. Too mad was a, I can't say this, and a, wow, those are some serious allegations. Over the past few years, he tried to M me multiple times for helping the police and detectives in multiple states to investigate a lot of horrible things he's done. Wow, I didn't know that. No one knew this. He wanted to take out multiple innocent lives by getting behind a wheel and going head on on freeway while being high on illegal substances. He didn't succeed once as he overdosed before mm, anybody. So he tried it again. What? I didn't know this. That completely changes up the situation. A couple of years ago, I was a fan of his content. What, what is this? Despite him trying to end me and multiple innocent lives, I've been trying to help law enforcement to make sure he's safe, doesn't get hurt and doesn't harm anybody. Please remember that he is this and this. He continued to prey on the vulnerable even after the police got involved, including a 13 year old in mental. Whoa, 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 hold up, pause. I can't say anything about this. We need proof, and the court of law has to decide that he is this certain type of individual. I wouldn't say he was even human if this is true. This is very serious. Holy shit. This went from 0 to 100 real quick. The tragedy doesn't excuse any of his actions. Exactly. I will address a lot of stuff when I fully collect my thoughts. Past few months have been a total mess and the reason why I ended up in the ER. Please give me time. So the best thing we could do is wait this one 
out. It's gonna come with way more evidence and at that point we can decide what type of person to Matt is. The first look of me when I opened my phone was a lot of people like celebrating that Too Mad isn't here anymore and I was just like very very confused getting to understand why they're actually celebrating it right now. Unfortunately we cannot hear the other side but Dill these are serious allegations. Exactly. It's not like I'm saying I don't believe James Key. We need real proof. We can't just say he was this and that. It takes a lot of time. <laughs> How it feels logging on to see two mad. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Wow, that's uh, that's dark. So let me know your thoughts about the situation. What do you think of Too Mad? Do you think those allegations are true? He obviously can't defend himself. And we will know what Twitter is gonna be. Twitter is still full of degenerates. Doesn't matter who unalives himself. That's all the time I got for today. Thank you so much for watching and see you around.